Hey, I'm Snifty Thrifty Girl. Um, today featuring a model 1931 Kenmore convertible. Um, very nice machine. Clean machine. Cosmetically, pretty clean. There's a few little scrapes here on the front edge of the removable panel. And there's a little ding up here on the top. But other than that, it's a very clean machine. Of course, serviced, ready to go upon delivery, as our machines always are. Um, this machine has built-in stitches as well as the capability to use the top hat style Kenmore cams. Um, it is an all, um, super high shank machine which is Kenmore proprietary to Kenmore. It uses a super high shank feet and attachments and it does come with quite a few presser feet. It has like um, a satin stitch foot, straight stitch foot, adjustable zipper cording foot, and a buttonhole foot in here. It comes with a double needle. Yes, this machine is double needle capable. This big attachment here is the buttonholer, the external attachable buttonholer. It also has the straight stitch needle plate, um, a needle threader, and just overall goodies in there. Pack of brand new size 18 needles as well. And on top of that, and it's stuffed full as you can see, so once you get it you might want to separate it out into put the feet in another box because it gets pretty, pretty stuffed with all these goodies in there. Um, on top of that it comes with a nice little box of cams. The beige ones are double stack stretch cams. The orange ones are single stack decorative stitch cams. Um, all kinds of goodies in there. There's an arrowhead, a ball, what's this one? a scallop, um, checkerboard, and I don't know what you would call that. Anyway, but you don't even really need to use the cams, really, because it has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 built-in stitches on its own. Now, the only thing is to do the built-in stretch stitches. The metal cam has to be in place for it to do the built-in stretch stitches. Of course, if you're using a plastic stretch cam, this will need to be removed and then it'll create the stretch patterns from the plastic cams. But build-in stretch has to have the metal cam in place. Easy to do. Um, one amp machine, all metal, um, and of course convertible means that you can use it as either a flatbed or a free arm machine. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. Right now it's the flatbed. Now while you need a flatbed, if you just need to change the bobbin or drop the feed dog, this little front panel is removable. And here's your feed dog drop. And your bobbin access is here. So you don't have to remove the whole deck to access your bobbin area or your feed dog lever. We'll snap that back on. Now if you want to access the free arm, you push this little button at the bottom and the deck slides right off and now you have a free arm which is perfect for pants legs, shirt sleeves, and small items. Um, and then this slides right back on and locks in place. Just as simple as that. Um, it uses 15 by 1 needles, class 15 bobbins. Everything is pretty standard except of course for the proprietary super high shank feet and attachments which they are available all day long on eBay if you want those and it does also have the original instruction manual included so this is a nice loaded little machine ready for a new home and I'm going to sew with it for you on a piece of fabric here smooth as silk I love these machines. Right now we're just on a straight stitch. And we'll do as 
zigzag. And what I'll do is I will switch over to, now to go from regular to stretch stitch on the built-in, you have to go, f this little lever has to go from the red dot to the white dot. So we're going to switch over to stretch so I can show you that with the metal cam in place. You just flip this over to the white dot and boom, you're in stretch mode for built-ins. Uh, right now, so it'll be in stretch zigzag. Okay, and the stitch selector here, the center. So we'll go over and do another one of the stretch stitches. Let's do that. Okay. Now, let's go back to regular. And this is on a... This is multi-point zigzag. Very nice stitches all around. I am going to put in a cam just so you can see. Do a regular cam here at the ball, ball stitch. So it has to be here on cam setting, right here on the center. Put that right in place. And now we're on cam. Oh, we gotta put some fabric under there. Oh. And it's doing the ball stitch, and of course you can make this as tight or as loose as you want, lengthwise. Nice ball stitch there. And now what I'm going to do is take this cam out, put it back in the box. I don't know if that was your number, 343. Um, so I'm just going to put this back in place just so it stays with the machine, the metal cam. We're going to take this off the cam setting and I am going to do some denim. This is five layers of denim. This machine does very well and this is of course it has the nice presser foot lift so you can get your project under there easily. using a size 16 needle. Beautiful stitching on the multiple layers of denim. Beautiful. This is a couple layers of suede leather. Of course this machine is not meant to do leather all day long every day. But if you have a project, it will take care of it for you. And of course, it's not going to sew saddles and wallets and, and, you know, all those things. This machine is not made for that. But it will easy, easily sew a pair of leather pants or some craft projects that you might have that has domestic leather involved. And that is the Convertible Freearm Kenmore Model 1931. Uh, my email is under the video if you have any questions. Um, we are Nifty Thrifty Girl on eBay. If you're interested in this machine, run over and still see if it's still available. Today is Monday, October 5th. Um, the, the convertibles go pretty quickly, so it might be gone. Uh, thank you.